Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux version 2023.1 on VirtualBox. For those that don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. So you can see I'm currently running Windows 11, Manjaro and Arc Linux on VirtualBox and I can run multiple operating systems here. So in this video we're going to be installing Kali Linux version 2023.1 on our VirtualBox. Now this is the latest version of Kali Linux at the moment which was released on the 13th of March marking their 10th anniversary. Now the first thing we have to do is download and install VirtualBox and to do that, head to your Chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. Now you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox, click on it and then by the left click on downloads. Now you can see for Windows host, Mac OS, Linux distribution and many other OS over here. So we are downloading for a Windows machine so I'm going to click on Windows host and it should start downloading. I already have this downloaded so I'm just going to cancel it but you should download it. Now after downloading VirtualBox, you also have to download VirtualBox extension pack. So if you look down over here, you're going to see VirtualBox Oracle VM extension pack. So click on all supported platforms over here and you should download the VirtualBox extension pack. Now after downloading VirtualBox and VirtualBox extension pack, we have to download Kali Linux version 2023.1 installation file. So open a new tab, you can just head directly to kali.org or you can just search for Kali Linux on Google. Now you can see the first page over here, Kali Linux pen testing and ethical hacking Linux, Kali.org. So just click on the first page over here and it will take you directly to Kali.org. Now click on the download button on the screen over here and it will take you down here where you can see the installer image and virtual machines. Now there are two ways we can use to install Kali Linux. The first method is to go with virtual machines option over here which allows you to run Kali Linux directly. So all you do is download the file, extract and then run directly from your VirtualBox without doing anything else. So if you want to test Kali Linux or you just want it up and running immediately then you should go with the first method. Now the second method is using the installer image which means you have to install everything from scratch yourself, set the disk size and every other thing you want. So I would recommend this if you want to customize your machine and do everything yourself. Now I'm going to show both methods in this video so you can choose which is preferable for you. So first let's start with virtual machines. So once you click on virtual machines, it will take you down here. Now you can see Kali Linux for VirtualBox, for VMware and for Cremo. Now we are downloading Kali Linux for VirtualBox. And you can see the 64-bit version and the 32-bit version as well. So you have to check your PC to see if it has a 32-bit processor or 64-bit. And to do that, head to your search bar and then search for About PC. Once you click on it, you should be able to see details on your system. You can see over here under system type 64-bit operating system x64 base processor. So we're going to download the 64-bit version of Kali Linux for VirtualBox. So we'll click on 64 over here for VirtualBox and it should start downloading. The size is about 2.7 gigabytes. Now I already have this file downloaded so I'm just going to cancel it. Now after downloading the pre-built VirtualBox image for Kali Linux, we can close our browser and then open our download folder. Now you can see this is VirtualBox, this is Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack and this is the Kali Linux file we downloaded. So first you have to install VirtualBox and to do that just double click on it and then install just like every other software. So I already have this installed so I'm just going to click on repair but you just have to install just continue with the prompt and you should be able to install VirtualBox. Now after installing VirtualBox, the next thing we have to do is add the extension pack and to do that, open VirtualBox after the installation and then you can see this tab up here, click on it and then click on extensions, now click on install and then select the extension pack which is in your download folder, click on open and then click on install and it should install the extension pack, just scroll down and then click on I agree to the terms and it should install successfully. So the extension pack has been installed. Now we can click on the tab again and then go back to the welcome page. So after installing VirtualBox and then adding the extension pack, we can begin extracting Kali Linux and then adding it to our VirtualBox. Now you can extract this file using WinRAR or any other file extractor, so whichever is good for you. So I'm just going to right click WinRAR extract files 
and then click on OK and it should extract this file in no time. Okay, so the file has been successfully extracted and you can see the folder over here, Kali Linux 2023.1 VirtualBox. So let's open this folder, open the folder and you can see two files over here. Now this is the virtual disk image for Kali Linux and this is the file we are going to use to run it. So you can see this file which is 2.95 kilobytes. so just double click on it and it will add Kali Linux to VirtualBox. Now you can see Kali Linux has been added to VirtualBox. Before you power on your machine, we have to change few things. So just click on settings and then go to system, increase the base memory which is the RAM. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on my PC so I'm going to give Kali Linux 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your PC RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. Same thing with the processor, I'm going to give it 3 cores since I can run up to 8. And then go to the display section over here and then make sure 3D acceleration is enabled over here. Now click on OK, we can then click on start and this should boot our Kali Linux instantly. Now you can see it is now up. The username is Kali, K-A-L-I, all in lowercase and the password is the same thing, Kali. And you should have access to Kali Linux. So you can see Kali Linux has been installed on our machine and everything looks really good. Now if you want to view this in full screen, you can click on view up here and then go to full screen mode, click on switch and you should be able to use Kali Linux in full screen. If you want to switch back, you can just come down here, bring your mouse down and then minimize back again. So basically this is how to install Kali Linux using the pre-built virtual image. Now you can do whatever you want to do, change your processor, change the RAM and modify Kali Linux as you want. Now the second method we are going to use for the installation is through the installer method. So if you use this method you are good, you can use Kali Linux for whatever you want. So let's head back to our browser and then this time we are going to download the installer image. So let's click on installer image over here and then you can see over here this is the installer image complete offline installation with customization. So let's click on it and it should start downloading. This file is a little bit bigger than the previous image. This is about 3.6 gigabytes. I already have this downloaded so I'm just going to cancel it. So after downloading we can close our browser and then open our download folder. Okay so we now have Kali Linux image over here, installer image. This is VirtualBox and this is extension pack which we've already installed already so we don't need any of this. So head to your virtual box. Now we have to create a new virtual machine so click on new. Let's call this Kali Linux 2023.1. Now set the type to Linux and then set the version over here to Linux 2.6, 3x, 4x, 5x, 64 bit since we are using a 64 bit version of this software unless you downloaded the 32 bit version. Now click on next. And then set the base memory which is your RAM. Now I'm going to give this about 5 gigabytes of RAM since I have 16 gigabytes on my PC. Like I said earlier, you shouldn't give more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. Same thing with the processor so I'm going to give it 3 cores. Now click on next. Create a virtual hard disk now. Now this is where you allocate how much storage you want to give to your machine. In this case from 50 gig is actually ok but I'm going to give it about 90 gigabytes and that should be okay. Now also note you can't give more than what you have so if you don't have up to 90 gig storage on your PC, you can't allocate 90 gig to your virtual machine. And then after doing that click on next and then click on finish. So we've successfully created a new machine over here you can see Kali Linux 2023.1 but we are not done we have to make changes to some things over here. So click on settings up here. Now go to system. And then this is the base memory which you can change whenever you want. Processor as well you can change whenever you want. Now click on display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes and also enable 3D acceleration over here. Now the next thing go to storage and then click on controller IDE over here you can see an empty disk icon. Click on the disk icon and then select this disk icon by the right. 
click on choose a disk file now we have to select kali linux image file so let's go to our download folder and then select the installer file over here and then click on open click on ok so once we click on start we should begin the installation of kali linux so let's click on start Now we are going with the graphical install, so just hit enter and it should start. Select the language and continue. Select your location and continue. Select your keyboard format and continue. It should start retrieving the installer components from our installation media. Now this will identify your system to the network, so you can put your name right here. So I'm just going to put everything tech. continue domain name leave the field empty continue unless you have a domain name you want to put there full name for this user enter your full name there username for this user enter your username there and then choose the password confirm the password and then continue now choose your clock format and continue as well now we are going with guided which we use the entire disk we are located and then partition it itself so let's continue and this is the disk 97 gigabyte so that is actually the disk we created so let's continue all files in one partition which is recommended yes so continue now click on continue to finish partitioning and write changes to the disk write changes to the disk select yes and then continue now it will take some time to install you just don't have to do anything just wait for it to install Now this is where we select the desktop environment we want. You can use GNOME, KDE or XFace. Now I'm going to use XFace since this is the default desktop environment and this looks actually good unless you want to choose any other desktop environment but we are good with XFace over here. So let's just hit continue. Now select yes to install Grub Bootloader and then hit continue. Select the drive over here. This is where we are installing Grub Bootloader and then hit continue. And that is all actually. This shouldn't take up to a minute. Now the installation has been completed. So hit continue to reboot. Now log in with your username and password. Log in. And you can see Kali Linux has been successfully installed. Now we can view full screen and then do whatever we want to do. So basically this is how to install Kali Linux version 2023.1 on VirtualBox. You can use either of the methods and this works without any problem. So basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux version 2023.1 on VirtualBox. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.